Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths for the first year. Here we're working on midpoints between two coordinates so we can answer questions from exercise 6a. So the midpoint between two coordinates is effectively the midpoint between the x values as your x coordinate and the midpoint between your y coordinates which is your y values. Alternatively we have this formula here. It's effectively finding the average between your x coordinates and your two y coordinates. We're assuming here obviously that your y co your coordinates are x1, y1 and x2, y2. We've seen this abbreviation in a previous video. So um, the easiest way to do this is just to look for the middle number between both pairs of coordinates. So the middle number between 2 and 6 is 4 and the middle number between 3 and 9 is 6. So the answer here is just 4, 6. Alternatively, we do have this formula to hand if the numbers get more tricky, um, but this is the easiest way of doing it. Just work out the middle number between x's and the middle number between y's. So just to see this formula in action, make sure all of your terms go in the correct position here. It doesn't matter which one's x1 and x2 or y2 x1 and y1, or x2 and y2, um, just use one of them. And you get 4, 6. Alternatively, they could give you a question with a's and b's in there, but exactly the same thing works. You can see here that also, if you worked out the middle value in between 2 and 7, you'd get 4.5, and the middle number between minus 4 and 8 would be 2. OK, so we're going to link this topic now back into circles. And the way that this topic links to circles is if you've got two coordinates, say A and B, that are either side of a diameter, then that midpoint must be the centre of the circle. Let's show you this in action. So if you've got two coordinates and they're a diameter across the centre of a circle, then the middle coordinate out of these two coordinates is going to be the centre. So finding the centre of this coordinate would be the same as finding the middle coordinate between these two values. So the middle number between minus 3 and 5 is 1, and the middle number between 8 and 4 is 6. So the coordinate for the centre is 1, 6. Alternatively, you could use the formula to get 1, 6 as well. OK, so just flipping the question around a little bit, now we've got the centre and a coordinate on one side of the uh, circle. We want to work out the other side of the coordinate now. So we could do uh, a similar thing here in that we could uh, work with our coordinates. So from 8 down to 2 on the x coordinates, we've gone back 6. So going back 6 again, we're at minus 4. And going back, going up. How many are we going to go up? We're going to go from minus 5 to minus 2, that's up 3. So going up 3 again would get us to the coordinate 1. So our coordinate for Q is going to be minus 4, 1. Alternatively, you could reverse engineer the, um, the formula of a midpoint, but your answer would be 2 minus 2, and you'd have to use some numbers, some letters here, to fill in for x, y up here. So you get minus 4 and you get 1, just as we did by using the coordinates. Right, it's so your turn to have a go at some of these questions then. Pause the video and try them out. Right, well done for having a go at these questions here. Let's have a go at question 1e then. Find the midpoint between the line sector of 7 minus 3. So that's pretty difficult to work out. I think what I'll do here is I'll use my formula. Now, because the value of the x coordinate here is a negative, we have to substitute it into the formula as a negative. So minus 4 add 6 over 2. So this is going to give me 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the coordinate here is 2, 1. Question 3 here, the line segment PQ is a diameter of a circle. P and Q are these values here find the center of the circle. So this is the exact same question as 1e pretty much, just given in a context. So it's going to be minus 4 add 7 divided by 2 and 6 plus 8 divided by 2. So in this case here, this is going to give me 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5 and 
6 plus 8 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. So this is the centre of my circle. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Make sure you now have a go at questions from exercise 6a. Remember, 10% of the learning is coming through watching this video. 90% of it is going to come through you practising questions, persevering through those difficult ones, and asking your teacher for support if you need it. Thanks for watching.